How's it going, YouTube? So, today's commentary um, episode features a character that not many people have seen so far in the competitive scene, which is none other than Falco. And you know, I've been reading the comments a lot, and a lot of people have been, a lot of people have been asking me to go Falco. So, I gladly gladly accept it, you know. And today's match will feature Falco. So, a lot of people ask me, um, is Falco any good? Like, is is Falco, you know? viable in competitive uh, in competitive you know uh, tournaments and the answer is quite hard to say how good Falco is because he plays so different from what was standard in in brawl like in brawl he was a really solid character he had a chain grab he had very uh, capable he had very good frame data very good attacks you know yeah he, he had almost everything good you know he had very little weaknesses and he was one of the best characters in the game but in this game he's uh, strangers are not too apparent so it's like it's really hard to pinpoint exactly how good this character is and and well so I'm not gonna like talk about how good he really is but I'm just gonna say some of the things he can do you know he has some very good things like for example he's he's a uh, throw his up throw combos into his upper or even his back air uh, his down throw combos into dash tag or up tilt or nair and you can combo from there your your up tilt is a really good kill move your force smash lasts forever and does a ton of knockback your back here is really good for spacing it does a lot of uh it pushes opponents very far when they shield and your project your your shine is really good at deflecting projectiles like you almost never get ahead uh your downer is a little laggy but it's really powerful spike that kills people really early like at 20 30 percent you can you know end their stocks if you somehow manage to land uh your spike up stage your up tilt is also your upper i'm sorry is also very solid Kill move too as well, and in general, Falco is more of a boxer. I think one of his very best moves is actually his jab. It's on first of all, it's unscapable. Like you can't really escape it at all. It does a ton of damage and it knocks people off to the ground. So it's really good for setups too. And 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 the first uh, two jabs, like the one two, is actually has pretty good range. You know, pretty good damage too. It's an overall good move. Your back throw that you saw on the screen right now, it's also a kill throw. If they get hit by the laser. If they, uh, you know, if they get thrown in a certain way, uh, they get combo into the laser, and the laser has, for some reason, some crazy knockback afterwards, and they can just die very early to it. Like they can die at 120, 130%, and on wall cops, it's really dangerous. And just like in brawl, your up tilt is also very dangerous for, um, you know, when people are rolling to you or people are above you, and then you don't really, you know, you are struggling to get the kill. You can up tilt, and then you'll definitely, most definitely, get them with it. Uh, the way I recommend playing Falco is a lot of, uh, his laser game is very weak and very slow, so I will not recommend using lasers too much, but Falco is really good against characters that camp, like, characters who throw stuff at Falco, he can easily just reflector them back at them, and it's really useful for that, reflector is very good for that. Um, you want to put this character in a boxing type of way, jab, grab, shield, you know, nair sometimes, you know, have a good fundamentally defensive game, you know, on the ground, and a lot of footsies, you know. Your grabs, your down throw leads to a lot of things, you know, that you saw. And overall, you have to stay grounded and, and, and just take advantage of the little punishes you can do here and there. He plays very different from all, from all the Smash games. From Melee and Brawl, he plays very different. Also, uh, Halver is pretty good for Falco. He can get some early kills with up throw upper. I think you will see one right now. Yep, just like that. <laughs> very early kill. So, Halver is pretty good for Falco. His up smash is not too strong, but his force smash and down smash are very strong. His backer is also decently strong too, and it's really good for spacing and auto, and auto cancel. So it's good to keep in mind to space it around. And there's the proof of downer. You know, it's just very powerful. Downer is really good to intercept people. I will mostly recommend backer in general if possible, but it's not too bad to go for your downer to space people out. All, all in all, Falco is a you know he plays much differently like he did in brawl. So if you were a Falco player in melee and in brawl, it's very likely for you to not. You know, enjoy Falco in Smash 4 unless you play him extremely different. You know, it's really hard to be effective with him in a similar playstyle because in Brawl you were very defensive and in Melee you had the option to be very aggressive or, or, or be in the middle, you know. But in this game you have to be you have to be patient, you have to go you have to be patient most of the time, but not really with projectiles. You have to be patient in your overall close core combat abilities, and that's really hard to understand and really hard to apply. So far there hasn't really been any True successful Falco players so far. Uh, maybe things will change in the metagame, especially with customs being allowed at Evo and 
probably shipping up the metagame in the future, so Falco may see some use because he has a better projectile, a better reflector game than, than Fox, and he also has some solid throw combos and some solid close quarter combo ability. So Falco isn't as bad as people say, but he's not, uh, you know, on Sheik's level, for example, in terms of effectiveness, you know. But yeah, guys, hopefully this commentary was useful and you guys saw a little bit more about Falco, learned a little bit more about Falco as well as possible. And, you know, guys, um, I also want to inform you guys, um, a lot of people have been asking me if I do lessons, you know, like, you know, hourly lessons to help people improve, you know, like play with them and teach them, you know, things over Skype and things like that. Yes, I do that. However, that is, uh, that is priced. And if you're interested in that, I've been, you know, offering the service uh, lately. I recently, like, reopened it up. Because I, I always offer lessons, but they were, like, on the down low. Like, people will message me, like, hey, do you do lessons? Yeah, I do. Like, I wouldn't really advertise them. But now people encourage me to, you know, um, you know, offer this service more. You know, like, advertise it more. So I'm going to be doing that, you know. If you're interested in, in, in taking lessons from me, you know, you can email me at gonzalo0live at gmail.com. Uh, you know, the link, the email, I'm sorry, is going to be in the description below in this video. And, you know, we can talk details, schedule, pricing, and all that good stuff. So anyway, guys, uh, if you're new to the channel, you know, I will encourage you to subscribe so you can keep up with my content daily, which I upload every day at 9.30 a.m. PSD. And if you're a longtime supporter, you've been, you're already subscribed to my channel and you want to keep on supporting, spreading out this video, you know, and my channel on social media is always incredibly, incredibly helpful and I'm always very thankful for that help. As always, guys, I want to thank you for your time for watching and, you know, have a really good day or night or evening. I prefer saying have a good one. It's just more general. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a good one. Zero out.